I've just been working on like a few different APIs uh, that will be released within um, like the Growth Hackers Integral Map plugin that we've been building. And um, I just wanted to like share. So this is one that I've just built, um, which is a product hunt auto follower. Um, and I think I've only ever seen one other platform using a, a product hunt auto follower. Um, no, there's only one publicly available one that I know of. Uh, and in my opinion, Product Hunt is actually a massively underutilized platform. Um, not only just for like promoting your product directly, is it very good? Um, but for every time you follow someone on Product Hunt, um, like number one, they haven't really got any like detection for, for doing this because no one's, no one's doing it. It's not like Instagram or Facebook or something where they're really like on top of tracking actions. So you can actually do like thousands of these per day. I'm actually going to test it now and, and see if I, if I can, can actually get banned. Um, but on top of that, if, every time you follow someone, um, it actually sends an automatic email to that person saying, you've got a new follower that I've just, just followed them. Uh, and it actually says the last thing that I upvoted. So if you're like smart about this, what you can do is I've made sure that the last product that I that I upvoted was Notifier, which is one of my which is one of my companies. So you can see here Notifier. So they send in the email Nathan recently upvoted and like whatever product um, I, I last upvoted. So it's just a really easy way to get some, get some publicity for, for your application. Um, um, every time I, uh, sorry, every time I, I promote a product myself on Product Hunt, um, the more followers you have, like the more uh, votes you're likely to get on, on your product. So this is just a little fun script that I built. I've been teaching myself teach myself how to do um, JavaScript development. So I've just been playing around with a lot of libraries. And now that I've learned how to actually uh, loop um, certain actions, like on here, because all of these buttons have the same ID, I was finding it like <laughs> quite difficult for a while to understand how I... Um, click a button with the same ID like multiple times in a row. For example, I've actually built another module now, which is a LinkedIn um, automation that will connect with people from search results. So it means you will actually be able to send like thousands of connection requests per day rather than just hundreds. And so now I'll, like, I'll release that soon. I'm just like playing around with it and doing some, some more testing. But um, now that I've learned how to do that, it really opens up... Um, opens up the like opportunities in front of me uh, in terms of what I can actually build and release in our tools. So, um, yeah, this has been a fun pro project to build. I've just, just seen how bad my hair looks uh, because of <laughs> coronavirus. There's no, no barbers open, but, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share this. If you have any questions as always, um, leave a comment. This was, this was fun to build. I, I really enjoyed it. I, in fact, all, all like development in general that I've been doing recently, I've, um, I, I have really, really enjoyed. I feel that I've learned a lot. It's good to do something new. Um, I luckily, I understand how like logic and everything comes together. So I think I've been able to pick it up like quite quickly. Um, like I, I've built like two of these automations today and like I'm, I'm not, not a programmer at all. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really good just learning, learning JavaScript and, um, yeah, so this, this will be available, um, on like growth hackers. So for all of the, um, subscribers that we have already, um, you can expect to see this coming out uh hopefully in the in the next couple of days um also if anyone has any like i've got a ton of ideas for automations but if you have some ideas for like tools that, that you would like to see um please do let me know i can actually share like these aren't integromat flows and i know most people like looking at integromat flows because they're easier to understand 
Um, but I actually built two other automations, um, two other APIs that I'm going to release. Ah, here it is. So if anyone is familiar with the tool, um, well, not the tool, sorry, the platform Indie Hackers, it's sort of like a... Um, uh, it's like a community of like entrepreneurs and startups. So something like Reddit, but I think they have a much ni nicer interface. Um, so what I did today is I built a tool that will um, automatically log in, and it will. You can tell it what URL you want to post and what title you want. It will click the post button. It will add a title, and it will then add a link for you, and then it will submit the post. Um, and then after that, I also built a tool that will, um, let's say if you went and made like five or 10 of like Indie Hackers accounts, you could then go and submit to the um, Indie Upvote API. I can't click on it because it's got my raw password stored there. Um, but you could send it over to the Indie Upvote API and then all of your other accounts would go and simultaneously um, upvote your post and it would be very easy to like go up the rankings on this website they've got a really good audience on there um, and I'm going to build out like similar APIs for um, for uh, growthhackers.com which is another another forum that is quite similar and I also started working on it for Reddit I actually made a video on building a Reddit automation the other day however I didn't make it public like, I haven't edited it or anything yet but um, I'll get around to that at some point but it was actually an automation that whenever a new YouTube video is posted on my channel, it will be detected. Um, it will go and share it in about 20 different subreddits. It would also, and then it would go and automatically upvote on all the subreddits as well from all of my Reddit accounts. And now I've added these two APIs. It will go and share it on Indie Hackers and it will go and upvote it. And it will also share on growth, growthhackers.com and upvote it there as well so um yeah now i've been like teaching myself the stuff i can actually go and build out some of the apis and tools that i've been been wanting to use for for quite quite a long time um so there are like a few things that I'll, I'll be releasing um very soon and yeah if you have some like interesting ideas for automations like for apis that you'd like to see uh, I can't guarantee that, that I will build them, but um, I'll be interested to hear like, your ideas nonetheless. And uh, yeah, if I think it's, it's useful for, um, for myself and for other people, um, maybe I will uh, build it. So as always, thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend.